Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip to Universal Orlando Resort continues. Today we're here at Islands of Adventure. Today is the day for Popeye and Bluto's Build Drop Barges. Hey, along with that we're going to get back on lots of the other fantastic rides in this park. I love Popeye, it's one of the wettest water rides out there. But also you've got one of my favourite ever coasters here, Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Oh, I absolutely love Velocicoaster, what an amazing ride. You've also got the Hulk in this park, Spider-Man, the Wisdom World of Harry Potter, Hagrid's, and of course Forbidden Journey. There's so many great rides in this park. It's got a world-class lineup. It. It's another gorgeous day, so come and join us at Islands of Adventure. I love the entrance to this park, and of course you've got the iconic lighthouse just up there as well, with the big logo on, which does look fantastic. Park hours today are 9 a.m. through until 8 p.m. As we make our way down, I love this soundtrack as well. They've just released a full thing on YouTube, actually. Even though the park opened in 1999, I love how they've now officially released the soundtrack, finally. It is beautiful. Listen to it all the time. And of course, the adventure begins here. Oh, I love the bridge that you walk underneath here. And all these fantastic bazaars. Oh, it always looks gorgeous, especially when the sun's shining. And we're going to start off with a 10 minute wait for the Incredible Hulk. Yes, the Hulk coaster. I absolutely love it. There's so many details in this entrance area. A lot of the time people just walk straight through and enter and exit the park and don't really realise. But actually, there's so much going on here, which I love. All the water features and just like the sign just up there. It's all them smaller things that really immerse you into the world of Islands of Adventure. And of course, there's the whole B&M sit-down coaster with onboard sound. You know the onboard sounds loud when you can hear it from all the way down here. 10 minute wait for this spectacular ride. Oh, I love it. And of course, you can see Velocicoaster over there as well. There's the top hat. 10 minute wait for Velocicoaster as well, which is really good. That is not bad at all. I think the biggest queue is for Hagrid's and that's 60 minutes. And for Hagrid, that is not bad. Yeah, especially because it doesn't have Express on there. It moves so fast. It moves a bit faster. Oh, that's what we want. Let's go and start with this. All the misters on. Oh yes, I love a front row ride on the whole. practically walk on there for a front row ride on the whole coaster. It's actually got a 40 mile an hour tyre propelled launch at the start, which is great. You then go into the first of seven inversions on that ride. It's really forceful, isn't it, that? It is so forceful. I do like riding it at the front because towards the back, it's just a bit too intense for me. Oh, I love the onboard soundtrack on there though. It really enhances it. They've got these massive speakers built into the train and it's pumping as you're going round on there. Absolutely brilliant ride. And of course, I remember riding it for the first time nine years ago when I came to Florida in 2014. That was my first ever visit. I remember being quite disappointed with the Hulk. And of course, a couple of years later, they completely retracted. They did the Nemesis treatment from the top, of course, of that launch through to the brake run. And it made it much more better, in my opinion. I love that coaster. And it looks the part here by the water as well. Just one of the most iconic roller coaster views anywhere in the world, isn't it, the Hulk? With its bright green track. And I love this area down here because you get a fantastic view looking out over the park. There's Velocicoaster. Oh, I am so excited to get back on there. And of course you can see Hogwarts over at the back just there. Hogsmeade just over to the right. And of course the Lost Continent and Seuss Landing over on that side of the park. Really is a world-class line up here. But Velocicoaster fit in so well, didn't it? Crowd levels seem pretty light this morning, which is good. Best thing about coming in September, especially midweek, 
And yeah, we're going on the amazing adventures of Spider-Man just over here now. This dark ride really changed the dark ride scene back when it opened in 1999. And of course, since then, we've seen really impressive dark rides opening, not just here in Florida, but all across the world. But still, this holds up to be one of the best. It's a shame we can't take you on with the POV. We're at Universal. They don't really allow much on-ride filming. Yeah, 10 minute wait for this. You got the motion sickness tablets I today? Know, I took them this morning, so hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing when you got like screen based rides. Yeah, it really affects me, especially for Vin Journey. Oh, yeah, we'll be getting on that. I can't wait for Vin Journey. Great lineup in this park. Love the model of the ride system just here as well. How awesome is that? So yeah, 12 riders per bit on this. We'll see when we come off. I love Spider-Man, it's such an impressive ride. Of course, you wear the 3D glasses, you've got a mix between screens and set pieces, but the set design in there is amazing, isn't it? There's just so much to look at in there, which is absolutely brilliant. So I'm pleased to say my motion sickness tablets work. It's funny, because it doesn't affect you on roller coasters, no. just screen-based art rides. Looking at screens, it really affects me. It makes me feel so sick, but the tablets work. And that's the thing, the ride system, it's not like an omni-move, what moves slow, it's just jolting around, it moves yeah. loads, doesn't it? I really like Spider-Man, it's a great ride. You've got like a massive statue of Liberty in there. So cool. Uh, and what's really cool is like you've got the set and then it blends into the screen. Which really contravents itself, which is good. Yeah, much like um, the Brooklyn Bridge in New York scene, that's great. Very cool. And like the walls will move at the side. Yeah, it's really advanced ride. And uh, yeah, great for its time and still holds up um, to this day. It really does. Yeah, I enjoyed that so much getting back on there. It's also got a big fire effect as well. Uh, but yeah, it's very immersive experience. We're going to head onto Doctor Doom's Fear Fall just here now. Five minute wait, you got two SNS shot towers. They're not spectacular, these, but you know what? For a five minute wait, we can't pass that up. Pretty much walk straight on there to the park's SNS shot towers. As far as they go, those are better because you do get some good airtime on that first initial launch. But after that, there's not much to them, is there really? No, there's not. It's okay, but I wouldn't want to queue ages for it. I do like the views though, looking out over the park. Of course, you get some spectacular views looking at Hulk from on there as well, with it being so close. Anyway, we're done over in Marvel Superhero Island into Toon Lagoon now, home to two awesome water rides are you ready awesome i literally detest them both i hate them this is one of my favorite parts of the trip coming into this area and of course we can take you all on popeye and blue toes builds rat barges and then of course rips all balls after as well we'll be able to go on but uh, here we go you ready for this no let's go and check it out I do really like how fun this area is like with all the cartoon style theming the comic strip cafe just over there and of course, we make our way around the corner. You can see some fantastic oh, water effects oh, just to get you in the mood, you know, ready for the ride. All these misters around here. And literally, you go under some crazy water effects on this. Comment down below if you've been on Popeye before. And there he is just over there. And of course, a fantastic view of the top hat on Velocicoaster just behind there as well. Just think you got Velocicoaster coming up after Charlotte. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> it's going to be good. Ten minute advertised wait for Popeye, which means it's probably walk on. <laughs> yeah, I do love all the theming around here. It's a soaker. This is one of the wettest water rides in the world. Luckily, we're in Florida, so there's no need for a pond show. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but I have packed my Crocs, so I won't have wet feet. Good idea. Good I need to get some Crocs. I, I really do. But uh, here we go. Let's go and experience it. We can take you on this one. Let's go and ride Popeye. This is it. Here we go, Popeye. This makes me sick. <laughs> I can't believe they got the full queue line open. I know, it's okay, 
all the years that I've been here, I've never seen it open. It was walk on, but that's probably why. Here we go, straight in. Hey! <laughs> the boats are massive on this as well, aren't they? Yeah, you gotta make sure you keep your feet up on this one. You got like a little bar. Still probably gonna get soaked. You're all right though, we've got the scientists back, haven't we? <laughs> you better get way into the trough. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> Going backwards, I do like how all the sides of the trough are themed on this one. And we got a bit wild now, here we go. Oh! <laughs> and that's the thing on this, it's not just the water from the trough, it's massive effects on here. <laughs> what we got coming up? Oh no, it's not looking good for Charlotte. We didn't do too bad last year, but you think this is going to go off, but it doesn't. Charlotte's safe, I think. Oh no, I'm not. Oh. Oh, that's it, literally. I am so sorry. Through my heart, You've got me. Oh, got the water cannons up there. Great view of Velocicoaster as well. Probably got here a lot. The camera just had a lot of water over it. <laughs> oh god. Oh, my god. Okay. Let's come off him, I'll punch out. <laughs> More effects coming up. This is it, just a little spray. Oh Charlotte's getting this one I think. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm a now, Charlotte, what I've not told you, some of these effects weren't on last time, and they're back fixed now, like this one. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that view of a lot of coaster, though. Oh, amazing. You've got to come on this ride to get those views. There is some nice pathways around here where you also get great shots, but yeah, especially when the train comes up there. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Can't see it. Oh. Oh, the lift hill now for part two. And even when you're coming up the lift hill here, there's like water effects everywhere coming at you, like these cannons at the side. Look at this. Every <laughs> look at it, look at this. This is going straight over me. I just wouldn't. Oh! <laughs> Absolutely disgusting attraction. <laughs> she loves it. We're going down the drop now. Whoever goes down backwards on this one is going to get it. <laughs> Keep your feet up. I mean, my, the stocks are soaked anyway. You're all right with drops. I might invest in some. Oh no. We've got the spinach. This is it. Oh, who's it going to be? Oh, it's looking good for Charlotte here. This could be it. This is Charlotte's moment. Oh! <laughs> Straight in. That water coming at you. At least you got one on. And there you go. A little bit more rafting left down here now. <laughs> You love that. <laughs> I'm sure we're in effect missing here somewhere on this boat. There he is. Whee! And that's that ride. On Popeye, it is an absolute soaker. One of the wettest rapids out there, that is. Oh my god. Oh, you don't seem as bad as last time, though. I've got a poncho, I can't wait to see how soaked out underneath this poncho. <laughs> oh. It really wouldn't be a trip to Florida without a ride on Popeye, would it? We got absolutely soaked on that. It has actually gone through my poncho. Open it up, let's have a look. Oh, to be honest though, like you're not too bad there, are you? Oh my God, that was horrific. I do feel like you are getting better with these water rides though now. I'm getting a bit brave, but no shower cap this time. No, none required this time, oh you know. Oh my God, God. You're all right. So I think the Crocs are a fantastic idea for they a ride are like absolutely that. absolutely brilliant because it stops you having wet feet. That's one thing that I don't like. I don't like walking around with wet socks. Like that. So it means that when we finish the water rides, I can just put my trainers back on. Oh, finish the water rides. Does that mean you're going on Rips or Falls, oh, does I've it? I've got to go on Rips or Falls. Oh, well, we can't film on that one, but we'll go and have a ride. But yeah, it's a brilliant rapids, that is. Love all the female, and you get soaked. Some of the effects on there are ridiculous. Brilliant. 
And also, if you come up here onto my ship, Olive, you get some brilliant views of the Los Acosta just there, looking absolutely incredible as the ride makes its way round to the final part of the layout. And of course, that spectacular final inversion, the Mosasaurus roll over the water. I cannot wait to get back on that shortly. Here it comes. Wow, absolutely brilliant. And yeah, you get a nice aerial view of Popeye just down here as well from up on the ship, where you can watch people coming around and getting soaked. And there's the Hulk just over there as well. And like I said, on many water rides, a water effect like this, it wouldn't stay on throughout the whole ride. It'd turn off. But yeah, brilliant that was. Really enjoyed absolutely it. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh, you got to have a good laugh, haven't you? We're going to continue now here in Toon Lagoon. We're going to have a ride on Ripsaw Falls. Really nice and colourful, this area of the park. And this is it, built by Mac Rides. Ripsaw Falls looking really fresh, nicely painted up. That's the thing with a ride like this, you've got to maintain it so well because of all the colours. 15 minute wait, not too bad. This often gets quite a big queue, especially on the hot days, so you know it's not a busy day when this is only on 15. Oh, not too busy at all. Yeah, I think uh, 15 minutes is probably a bit overestimated. Let's go and ride. We'll see when we come up. Hey, Beaver. Word has it that Nell does some singing in the show. Does she hit a high C? Well, we waited about 20 minutes there for our ride on Ripsaw Falls. About 10 minutes of downtime there. It seems like it's been quite unreliable, our trip, actually. We looked on the app, it's been down quite a lot. Oh, but it is a good fun ride. You've got various different drops on there, uh, including a drop that's got a little airtime hill on. And, of course, the big finale one's really good. But I am soaked from that. Oh, no, the water just came <laughs> all down the side of the boat. My crocs was, like, filled with this much water. Worth bearing in mind, if you're going on the front row of that, uh, it comes right over a massive wave. Luckily, we're in Florida, so it's all right. We'll dry off in about half an hour. Um, yeah, my traders are so soggy you now. Like, you know, when you're walking around in the squelch. That is what I absolutely <laughs> hate. Yeah, the two big soakers they are, the rapids and the low blue. So we've walked around the lake now here into the Lost Continent. I love this themed area of the park. And you're going to grab some lunch now before we keep on riding. Going to the Fire Eaters Grill just over here. Yeah, I love the chicken tenders from this place. Oh, these are so nice. You get a pretty good portion here as well. Four chicken fingers and fries, $13.30. Yeah, not too bad. That doesn't include a drink, though, uh, because, yeah, obviously, we're using our refill bottle at the Coke Freestyles and then putting in our own juice in there to make cordial, which is great. We've saved so much money this trip, coming to the Code Freestyles, filling up the water bottle and using these beauties, haven't we? They work so well. There we go, just put a couple of squirts in. Nice refreshing orange. Oh, that's what you want. Enjoyed my food just there though. Oh, lovely. I like just sitting here in this area as well and appreciating it because the Lost Continent is beautiful. However, the sad thing is, it's not got any attractions now. I mean, it's been quite a few years since Sinbad was removed, which was the show. And then of course, yeah, last rides, on Poseidon's Fury. We're earlier in the year and yeah, it's a shame because it's left this beautiful area without any attractions. You know, it's such a shame because it's really nice. It's just restaurants, dining, meet and greets, that sort of thing down here. And Poseidon's Fury closed, which is such a shame. So I really liked that attraction. There's a lot of rumors that maybe a Zelda area could be coming in here. Personally, I will miss this because I do like original themes, but I can also understand why they want to update it uh, to something else. But yeah, in my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful parts of the park. And here we go then, the time has come to ride Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Of course, it opened back in June 2021. Shot to the top spot for many people for being their favorite roller coaster. And it's certainly somewhere in my top 10. I do absolutely love this coaster. I remember coming out as soon as the borders reopened for the US to come and ride this and being blown away. And it is spectacular. We've already had some amazing rides on it this trip. And yeah, should be getting another one in just a moment. However, as you just saw, that train was going around empty. And yeah, I just wanted to show you that because actually it's been quite unreliable this trip we've noticed. For a coaster that's only two and a bit years old, it's had quite a lot of downtime, um, which is really interesting. So yeah, hopefully they can get that sorted out. But uh, anyway, trains are cycling round. 
let's go and have our ride on Velocicoaster. Really excited to get back on this. Are you excited, Charlotte? Oh, I absolutely love this coaster. It's amazing. Oh, that view of it coming around there as well. Oh, it's a spectacular ride, this is. It's weird not hearing the screams. Oh, perfect timing there. Seems we're walking down. They've just played an announcement saying the hunt is on. Velocicosa is back in action and we're just a 25 minute wait. Let's go and ride. So excited to get back on this again. I love it. With real live raptors. Hey. <laughs> means swift feet. Not only are they fast, their bike is equipped. Love this with all the lighting in here. Kind of like a rolling pre show. There's the train just up there. Oh, and there goes the train, and the raptors chasing them. I love that. Existing and growing knowledge of avian and reptile biology, developing the foundations of this groundbreaking do love the backstory. science that was designed and developed. Make our way through to see the raptors. complex game. I love this in here. Really builds you up before getting on the ride. We've been waiting about 15 minutes so far. It does move slower now because there is express available on this ride. Obviously there wasn't when it first opened, so it did move a lot faster. Let's go and ride. Well, by the time we got sat on the train, it was about 25 minutes, which is tell you what, you can't complain for such a world-class roller coaster. I love that so much, I really do. It features two launches on there, and the second launch is absolutely phenomenal, and four inversions on there too. Oh, I absolutely love Velocicoaster. It's such a fast ride, it's just absolutely brilliant. It's the forces that you get on there as well, some really whippy transitions, left to right, some fantastic drops as well, and it's the whole build-up. There is a pre-show um, before you actually get into the station. Can't film that because, of course, you have to put everything in a locker and also um, all phones, cameras and everything need to go in there as well because you have the full security search, yeah, don't you? Yeah, which is quite funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is an absolutely brilliant ride. It blew me away first time I experienced it and it still is now. I love it so much, I really do. And yeah, it's just the forces and overall experience of it and the train design with those lap bars is amazing. My favourite part, of course, I do love the second launch. However, the final inversion, the Mosasaurus roll over the water. That is absolutely crazy. It goes through that inversion so Fast. Because you've just got a lap bar as well, you feel like you're going to come yeah. flying out into the water. I love that coaster. It's been over a couple of years now. If you're still not being on it. Get yourselves out here when you can and experience it. It's one of the best coasters anywhere in the world. One of Intamin's best too. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Orlando. Oh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Getting back on all of our favourite rides. Another view there at Velocicoaster. And see what I mean about all the twists and turns. The four inversions on there as well. And of course the airtime, especially coming out of the top part down at the back. It's phenomenal, yeah, look at this. Really looks the part, and it's like you're actually looking into the paddock here, and all the landscaping's grown really nice down here too, which is fantastic. Of course, you do get quite a close call with the raptors on there, however, if you do want to actually come and meet a raptor, you've got the encounter just opposite up there as well, which is really good fun. 
But yeah, as we continue on here in Jurassic Park, we're going to go on the river adventure just over here now. I think the Jurassic Park music is my favourite movie soundtrack ever. I do love it. 15 minute wait for Jurassic Park. We'll see you when we come off. Avatar's 15, actual wait, two minutes. Look at the size of the boats. Capacity monster. Well, we walked straight on to Jurassic Park River Adventure there. However, we was actually stopped on the ride inside at the bottom of the lift hill for about 20 minutes there, weren't we? It just took ages to get moving again, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, quite a bit of downtime just there. I'm glad we was inside there in the shade. Yeah, because there was a couple of boats behind that was just in the sun for like 20 minutes and you could see that there was just like this, so hot. Yeah, but uh, I tell you what, I do really like this ride. However, it needs some TLC. I mean, I wasn't really talking about the ride system, more the effects, but maybe the ride system needs some work too based on the downtime it's had there. Um, but yeah, they're actually missing quite a few effects in there now. Uh, things not working. And in fact, one of the massive dinosaurs, as soon as the gate it's open and it says welcome to Jurassic Park and um, currently isn't there at the moment so yeah hopefully that'll be back soon it's not in the best state is it no, that no it's not it needs some TLC hey there it comes yeah the cycling empty boats there now but yeah it was good to get back on it but it really needs to work personally I'd like to see it upgraded to Jurassic World um, especially with how good it is at Universal Studios Hollywood Luckily though, they did give us an express pass for another ride, which even though it's a quiet day, is a nice gesture. We're going to come over here now onto Skull Island Reign of Kong and give this a go. Oh, is this delayed as well? Oh, there we go, another ride with downtime. I'll tell you what, been a bit of downtime today. Oh, I do love just seeing the Hulk every time we come here to Florida. Fantastic ride, very iconic, isn't it? Did you make our way round? Towards our next area of the park, we're going to go and get a little bit of a snack now. We're a little bit peckish. And Charlotte fancies a cake, don't you? Yeah, I'll do my favourite cake round here, so I'll show you when we get it, but it is just so cute. Yeah, so we're going round to Seuss Landing, which is the main family area here at Iowa. Do really like how vibrant this area is. And of course, you've got a dart ride down here, the cat in the hat. We'll get on there at some point today. And the Seuss trolley is always a good fun one as well, because you get some of the best views in the park. But we can take you on on that one. But yeah, we're going to go and get a nice little treat first, and then we'll probably head down to the Wisdom World of Harry Potter. We've got Forbidden Journey to get on, and of course, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Look at these low crowd levels, perfect. It really is, all these pathways. It's one of the quietest I've ever seen it around here. And yeah, the little place that we like that does the cakes is just over here on the right hand side. Oh, look at some of these in here. You got thing one just over there, the seasonal cupcake, of course, with it being Halloween. You got the cat in the hat cupcake just there, which looks really nice as well. So much choice, which one are you going for, Charlotte? Cookies and cream. Oh, there you go with the little button just on there. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I've never gone for one of these before, so I thought, let's try it. The cat in the hat just there. So, yeah, you've got like the cupcake at the bottom and the icing on top. And this is like a lolly at the top just there. I think that's just going to uh, lift out. Oh, here oh, we go. I love that. Look at the little fondant book on the top. That's nice, the detailing on there, isn't it? Yeah, it was like $6.30, including tax. Yeah, let's see what this tastes like. Oh, I tell you what, that was absolutely beautiful. However, I got very, very messy there. It literally just went everywhere, all the frosting. <laughs> it was good though. It was, it was very nice. Yours nice? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Fantastic. Here's a look at Poseidon's Fury. Permanently closed now, yeah, it was a water attraction. And it's a shame, because I did really like this. It was all about the full experience. Um, yeah, here in the Lost Continent. I'm glad they've kept this theme in. How long for, who knows? But yeah, this should have stayed open for now, in my opinion, until a replacement was ready. Hey, and out comes King Julian King just over here. Especially for you there, Charlotte. I love King Julian. Oh, there he is. <laughs> One of my other favourite parts of this park is the fountain here in Lost Continent. And yeah, someone's actually controlling it. And they'll all get you soaked if you want to. 
<laughs> I do love this feature. I'll be sad when this area does change in the future. <laughs> I just don't know how long they can justify not having any rides in this area of the park. But yeah, it is beautiful around here. That's where Sinbad used to be the show. We got some interactions. Dare I go past? <laughs> don't soak me! <laughs> We're safe. All right. You get Charlotte instead. <laughs> oh, I do love it. And just outside of the Lost Continent is, of course, the station for the Hogwarts Express that takes you over to Universal Studios Florida. And we did actually ride that the other day, so make sure you check out our blog if you haven't already seen it, where we take you on board the train. And here it is, the area that changed theme parks all around the world, really. I mean, when this opened, it really did change the industry so much. Welcome back to the Wisdom World of Harry Potter and, of course, Hogsmeade just here. It's always amazing stepping into this area, just off to the right-hand side. The Hogwarts Express photo opportunity and then of course Hogwarts down there at the back all the amazing buildings that are actually shops that you can go into yeah. such as Honeydukes just over there you can get the butter beer in this area and then of course you got three attractions including Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure which is down here advertised wait time of 60 throughout our trip so far 60 has been the time for this however it's normally overestimated and also it's got no express so yeah let's go and join the queue I tell you what, the landscaping has grown so nice around here now. And it always runs so many trains, Hagrid's as well. So it has got a really good throughput. So I'm interested to see if it's actually 60 or if that is overestimated. But look at this. Absolutely beautiful. They did such a good job of all this theming here as well. And of course, the attraction used to stand here called Dragon Challenge. And originally, Dueling Dragons, of course, two BNM inverts. But yeah, for Halloween Horror Nights this year, we've actually got a house all themed around Dueling Dragons. That's a nice little throwback to what used to stand here before Hagrid's. Well, I've been waiting about five minutes so far. And the good thing is, from this point, all the queue line is inside in the air conditioning. Perfect. <laughs> Your dragon fire is for emergency Let's get the back of the cage, I've been waiting for 23 minutes so far, so not too bad at all. And yeah, we're nearly in the final room of the queue lines. So I reckon within 10 minutes we should be on. And there's a look, of course, at the station. And the loading procedure say so you need to decide who goes on the motorbike and, of course, who goes in the sidecar. <laughs> just 35 minutes there for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Oh, I absolutely love Hagrid's and to only wait 35 minutes is absolutely perfect. I remember when it opened, it was getting like hours upon hours of ways. But yeah, the operations on there are really good. Constantly trains coming round. It's amazing to watch. And what helps the operation is the fact that the station just keeps on moving. It's got like a platform at the side conveyor that just keeps on rolling. Um, yeah, I do really enjoy that ride. Of course, it's got seven launches on there, more than any other coaster anywhere in the world along with that it's got the drop trap which is the devil's snare along with that you've got lots of different creatures that you see around of course you see Hagrid in his mm. hut as well um, you've got a spike on there there's just so much packed into it isn't there I absolutely love that ride we're always coming to the end and I've got a massive smile on my face I was going around on the motorbike holding the handlebars it's just so much fun look at the trains flying out I behind know. us amazing to watch as much as I do miss Dragon Challenge that used to be here before you know what it was a good addition uh, to this park it really is one of the best family coasters out there and it's right here at Islands of Adventure. And of course what really enhances the experience is the onboard sound as well. Speakers 
fill into every seat which is absolutely fantastic. And the landscape is looking a lot better now. I still think it's not perfect because down there at the back, you can still see the big show building for the Devil's Snare. But yeah, hopefully when these trees grow even more, it will cover that up. But yeah, it does look fantastic. And of course, we've got two of the rides in the area, Fly to the Hippogriff, Little Junior Coaster, and of course, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. And of course, much like Diagon Alley in the other park, you can have a walk through all the different shops. Here, you got Honey Dukes here, Charlotte straight in. Oh, <laughs> do you like having a look around? Oh, that air conditioning, beautiful. But yeah, that's the great thing with Hagrid's queue as well. Most of it's AC'd, all that indoor area. I want one this big. <laughs> Very nice in here. These 30 bucks, every flavour beans. Some of these taste like sick. Really? Yeah, that's the flavour. How much do they set you back? I don't know. Yeah. $13. $13 plus tax. These are the pumpkin juice sippers. These are so cute. <laughs> oh. $15 plus tax. I love that. Didn't you say you used to have to buy the pumpkin yeah, juice? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they used to sell these, but it was the pumpkin juice. Now it's just the bottles. Yeah, it probably wasn't very nice. <laughs> I tried butter beer once, it wasn't for me. Comment down below if you love it or hate it. I've but never had it before. I, oh, yeah, it's not great. I've heard mixed reviews. Oh, you feel that heat when you come back outside? Feels a bit more humid now than when we first got out here, but the weather's still nice. Three broomsticks just over here. Today's specials, fish and chips. Been in there many times, and yeah, the fish and chips is very good. I just love all these buildings. I love the snow on as well. It is so nice down here. The hog's head, just over there. So impressive though, these buildings. Ollivander's is down here as well. And of course you've got all the interactive windows down here as well. You use your wand and you get all the animations in the windows. Really nice little effects that you get down here. And you can stand behind people and see what it does. Hey! Yeah, snowman over there too, there's your butter beer. And of course, Hogwarts! Oh. Always looks amazing, doesn't it? And you get a good idea on crowd levels. I mean, don't get me wrong, when I say it's not very busy, if this was the crowd levels back home, it would be a busy day. But because you're in Florida, and of course, high capacity attractions mostly, uh, this really isn't too busy at all. But before we head over on to Forbidden Journey, we're gonna ride on Flight of the Hippogriff just here. Don't go on this very often. Yeah, it's a Pacoma Junior Coaster. Sit in a massive net. You do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only a 10 minute wait. You have some good views of Hogwarts, some on here. Yeah, sometimes the queue gets really big and obviously it's just an off the shelf coaster, this one. So we don't ride it all the time, but we thought we may as well. Beware, the forest in the grounds is forbidden to all students. It's actually one of the best views in the area there. Hogwarts in the background, all the coaster track, I love that view. So right there on flight of the Hippogriff. We actually waited about 10 minutes because yeah, it had some downtime for about seven or eight minutes, but they got it back in action. And yeah, we're now going on the one and only Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. 35 minute advertised wait. Well, of course, single rider's really good on this. So we're gonna go for single rider. I would, however, highly recommend going in the main standby queue if you've never been on this before, because of course you see lots of iconic scenes through Hogwarts. Flying on one of these benches is like grabbing a tiny spiral by its tail. I once flew one from the South Pole to the North Pole. And as expected, single riders, one person waiting. We'll see when we come on.
he bows back. Bows back. Got to wait. Well, that was absolutely incredible as always. I do love Forbidden Journey. And I'll tell you what, the operations on there, all the Cougar Robo arms just going around so fast are amazing. And in terms of the single rider queue, walk straight on and we even got to ride together. Not guaranteed, but yeah, obviously she was shouting back for twos. Nobody responded, so we got on together. Well, he said it all depends because it's so fast moving. If they call for a two and there isn't one there, they'll just put two single riders on. How was your ride? Oh, I really enjoyed that. I do get a little bit sick on there, but my motion sickness tablets helped. But Aragog scared me so much. Yeah, he comes really close to you there. And along with that, and you've got the Dementors that are also on Robo Arms, so they get really close. And then you go really far back, looking up at the Wamping Willow, which is a fantastic scene. I mean, that's a massive prop in there. And that's a good thing with this. Yes, it's got the screens, which are like video domes, but it's got all the set pieces in between, which are amazing. It's like the bridge, which is collapsing, and just everything in there is absolutely brilliant. Love it so much. It's always one of my favorite dark rides, that oh, it's is. It's absolutely fantastic ride. Yeah, and that single rider here means if you want to, you can just keep lapping it and lapping it all day. Look at it there behind us as well. And of course, that's just the facade. The actual show building, you look on Google Maps, massive, goes all the way back. And time to leave the Wizarding World. Now we've been in here less than an hour in this area and we completed all three attractions. I mean, that is not bad going at all. We've even had a bit of downtime with that as well. So yeah, we've done fantastic. Of course, you cross this bridge, you also get an amazing photo opportunity looking up at Hogwarts over there as well. And you get all the nice foreground with the forest just in front of it here too. Now, of course, it was closed earlier on when we walked past. So we're going to head back now to Skull Island, Reign of Kong. One of the weaker attractions here at the resort. We mentioned this in our vlog from the studios park next door. Uh, there's got quite a few weak rides. But yeah, Kong is one of our least favorites in this park. But still, there is a massive animatronic to see at the end. And don't forget to come and see the iconic Jurassic Park gateway here as well. Looks apart with the fire. Just thought because we're doing well with time, we'd have a stroll through Camp Jurassic down here. You have also got the roller coaster suspended above this area. However, you do actually need a kid to ride it. I have been on it when I first came, but Charlotte's not got the credits, I'm have they? Gutted. Oh no, but yeah, I do like Camp Jurassic. Normally you can kind of walk around this area, there's all these caves and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it looks like it could be blocked off for work taking place. So we'll just go and have a look. Well, it is still open down here. And I tell you what, if you're ever hot, and don't fancy going on one of the water rides. Wow, just come in here. Lovely and cool and very misty as well. Well, I didn't need to go on Popeyes then. I could have just come in here. Wow, well, I think you did need to go on it, but you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's lovely around here. And this is really hidden at the back of Camp Jurassic. A lot of people think, oh, you know, we can't go on the coaster because we haven't got a child. But yeah, you can actually still come and enjoy this area. It kind of reminds me of the caves in Adventureland at Disneyland Paris in here. Oh no, Charlotte's trapped on the other side of the bridge! Oh. Hey. <laughs> that was the suspension bridge coming down there. <laughs> and there it is, the most exclusive coaster credit in the park. Tarragon Flyers. And also some great views of Velocicoaster down here as well that you might not normally see unless you come up here and take this stroll. Let's make our way then round over here to Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Looks really impressive, the outside of this attraction. And that's actually my favorite part of the ride, just coming out and then entering the building through the big gates, all the fire effects. However, I have heard that the outside area is not being used at the moment. Yeah, we'll see, because that's the thing. In bad weather, it can skip the outdoor area. And obviously the weather's not bad at the moment, so maybe it's just not working outside. I'm not too sure. But yeah, you don't want to wait any longer than maybe 15, 20 minutes for this, really. But luckily, we have got that little express pass from earlier on if it's busy. Ooh, yeah, I think we'll use the express. It 
was well worth using that express pass that they gave us earlier from the Jurassic Park breakdown because we only waited about five minutes there for our ride on King Kong. And that is what it's worth. Yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, at the moment, you're not going around the outdoor section. Really don't know why because normally you come outside, you get the big kind of reveal, the gates open, you head inside and they tell you to put your 3D glasses on. Yeah, it's another one of them 3D rides. But yeah, the first scene's okay because um, you've got all the rock theme in and there's some big bat animatronics in there as well. And then from that point, it really goes downhill. Uh, you move forward and on the right hand side only is a screen with a scene just there. Uh, if you're on the left hand side of the big truck, you can hardly see anything. And that's my big tip for you. Try and get in first if you can, uh, because a lot of the action takes place on the right hand side, doesn't it? So if you're on the other end, you're struggling to see because you're like this trying to get past everyone. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is when you get into the main kind of cinema room, the projection is on both sides. It's kind of all the way around and at the front too. You rock around side to side, you're in there for a couple of minutes. King Kong kind of jumps over the top. One minute is on this side, next minute is over here. Uh, but the highlight of that ride is the finale scene, a massive King Kong animatronic. Uh, it's brilliant, it's kind of like sitting forward, so it's not like full size as in, you don't see like the back of him and also his feet, but it's amazing that, isn't it? It is absolutely incredible. The movement on there is so good. It looks so realistic. I'd queue up just to see that if I could do, but uh, yeah, fantastic uh, to see that again. But yeah, the ride itself, one of the weakest in the park. Oh, just waited 20 minutes there for another awesome ride on Velocicoaster. This time down there at the back, which is awesome. Coming out of that top pack down at the back is incredible, it really is. You know, just here in the Discovery Center now. What really makes it is, I've got some performers around here, like moving files around and pointing things out. So sometimes they'll bring the baby dinosaurs out as well. You've got all the eggs just in there. It's all the little parts of the experience. What are you doing there, Charlotte? You can move the egg, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, can I have an Easter egg that big next year? Look at that, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, I can't get it out. <laughs> but yeah, Velocicoaster down the back. Absolutely insane, I love it. We're back down here now in Seuss Landing. Of course, we came and had a cake down here earlier, but we didn't go on any of the attractions. Moose juice. Hey, we're going to jump on the trolley just over here now, and of course, we can take you on this, and also the cat in the hat, the dart ride. There's a few other family flat rides down here as well. Now A is for Al, as everyone knows, too bad we don't happen to have some of those. But look out for B, a bodacious blue bubble. And Bumblebee's buzzing won't cause you much trouble. Some of the best views in the park, come on here. Who said that? Please stop. This C is for the Circus McGurkus Big Top. And D, that's a breeze. How about the daring young lad? We've actually got two tracks piece. with two different layouts as well. Name here One goes McGee. through the Circus a Cafe just over there. Or Dingus McGee. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Sun. Just over there, too. F is for friends who are all And the carousel cell just down here. G is for green, but we'll get to that. H is for what tops that silly old cat. That's right, the hat of a cat. Oh, what a silly cat. Or maybe just for the old hip, hip, hooray. Yeah, you can do it. Say hip, hip, hooray. Good for you. <laughs> you could do that all day. I is for icing on top of a cake, and J is for jumping right into a lake. At the new Magoo Zoo, you'll find King Kirchhoff lording it all over K and L too. When you come down the road, did you happen to see a sign for a village called MNOP? Graveyard Hogwarts. O is for Avalosse. North and south going Zaxes, stubbornly stopped unbudged in their tracks. P is for perfect. And of course, the whole just looking as majestic as ever. Quick, look, that must be a snitch. Now back to G. Why? For green eggs and green ham. I really like them. I do, Sam. I am. R is for roundabout. Now you can see we're heading for Snitch Town with S and a T. Uncle Up's umbrella is a triple for you, and he just might throw in his underwear too. V is for the visitors here on vacation. Do really enjoy that ride. I've always had a soft spot for it ever since I first came. I just think it's so nice and colourful around here. And also, you get some brilliant views from on there as well. Oh, I really like that. I like the audio as you go around. You also like a certain someone, don't you? The cat in the hat. 
Hey, there we go. I had his cake earlier on. We are, we're going to take you on this little dark ride here now. It's nothing spectacular, but it's all right. Nice little family dark ride. Never really gets too busy. Crowd levels have been fantastic for us though this trip so far. If you're looking to come out to Orlando for the first time, or maybe you've been before it, a busy period, September, especially midweek, is fantastic. And even on the weekends, it's not too bad. Normally, weekends is a good time to hit up the water park. So that's what we did with Volcano Bay. Hey! Should not be about when your mother is out. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with a Fish. Look at me! Look at me! I'm the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hand. Our fish came down too. It fell into a pot. So I like this. Oh, no, I didn't like it. Oh, see something new, two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. Hey. Oh, they're not working. <laughs> I like how the ride system spins around on this. What's he doing down there? That's me in the back. <laughs> And there he is down there on the floor, the cat in the hat, everybody. I absolutely love that ride. I could just re-ride that all day. You love it, don't you? I really <laughs> like it. It's so long and there's just so much going on. I've got a proper soft spot for it. It is a long ride, I give you that. It. It's so cute. I'm not a huge fan person, but it is something else <laughs> added really to the park. I really like it. Oh, thing one and thing two shirts know, available. Just here as well, you get some good merch and some great gift shops at these parks in Florida as well. Well, it's just gone six o'clock and we've done all the major rides here in Islands of Adventure today. We have done so well today. We've done everything. Like the crowd levels have been perfect for us, haven't they? They have been. The queues haven't been too bad at all, which has been fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's been amazing getting on all the rides, even done some re-rides as well, which has been good. And uh, yeah, we're going to start making our way now out of the park just down here. I do really like Islands of Adventure at night as well, but obviously with it being quiet on these weekdays, it closes at 8. So you get the lights kind of starting to come on, but you don't get the full nighttime experience. But still, we've experienced all the park today. We've got loads of rides in, and it's been fantastic. But yeah, we'll have a little look in the Christmas shop down here, actually. Yeah, we've not been in that yet. And I think, was it closed last time for a refurb? Or they were doing the outside, at least, last year when we came. Yeah, let's have a look in there. you got some really nice other restaurants and things around here as well. Like all the wild theme buildings. I quite like the uh, bakery just over there, the Starbucks off to the right. And I love this entrance street. I hope they never change it. It's really nice. We'll have a look in the souvenir shop down here as well. Oh, I'm back to hearing the wonderful score for this park in the background. It's like the start and end of the day at Iowa with the fantastic music. And here we go, we've got the Christmas shop. I love this. The import of entry. You know me, I love Christmas. Oh, look at this massive nutcracker in here. Oh, he's amazing. Get him on the front lawn. You love the Grinch. Oh, the Grinch onesie. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? The Grinch is my favourite <laughs> Christmas film. How much do they set you back for one of those? Oh, Here's the Grinch. $65. Ooh, ooh, here he is. Here he is. 
Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. I hate Christmas. Hate, hate, hate. Double hate. No! <laughs> That's too good, that is. Oh, I do like these over here. They're fantastic. Wouldn't be a visit to this park without coming in the Christmas shop, would it? Christmas all year. And the decorations are beautiful in here as well. They're so well done. I was going to say they do a good job when they put them up each year, but uh, yeah, they're up all year in here. <laughs> Harry Potter themed tree just over here as well. Very fitting with the part that we're in. You're starting with my Grinch impressions now. What, let's have another. And with this hat and this cloak, I look just like Saint Nick. <laughs> <laughs> You've watched it too many times. <laughs> oh. And just opposite, we've got the Islands of Adventure Trading Company. Just gonna have a look inside. And she's off. She was running for these gift shops. Welcome to the Velocicoaster. <laughs> I love this t-shirt here. I've got my blue one. How much are these now? $30, not too bad for a nice t-shirt there. You got the caps down there as well. Mugs and shot glasses. Charlotte's over to the tat, as I would call it. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice down here though. I was gonna say that. Yeah, too. look at that, that's fantastic. You don't often see hoodies over here, that's do you? That's lovely. In Florida, what price we got on there? Oh, I like that. Is. Great design. $57. Oh, that's not too bad actually. No. Of course, we've also done a full vlog around Universal City Walk during our stay. So yeah, make sure you check that out if you want to see even more of the merchandise on offer here at the resort. brings us to the end of a pretty quiet day here at Universal Islands of Adventure. I do love this park. It's got one of the best lineups out there in terms of variety. Some brilliant coasters, of course, with Velocicoaster and the Hulk, some excellent dark rides and the water rides as well. Oh, we've had a fantastic day today and I managed to conquer all the water rides. Yeah, we did the triple whammy today we water did. rides, which is good with Jurassic Park. That needs a bit of work on it there. Uh, but of course, we did Ripsaw Falls and Popeye as well. Love taking you all on Popeye. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, what have been some of your favourites today? Oh, I loved getting back on Hagrid's. I absolutely love that. Velocicoaster and the cat in the hat. Hey, of course, Spider-Man's a brilliant ride in this park. Kong, not so much. <laughs> uh, but there's some other really nice filler attractions here in Islands of Adventure too. Now, I love the Lost Continent, but it's in a bit of a sad state now with no attractions. So I do hope that they can kind of get on with what they're going to be doing with that area. As much as I would prefer it to stay an original theme, uh, like I say, there's rumours of maybe Zelda coming in or something else, but that's the only part of the park now where it's weak, sadly. And it's a shame because it's one of the best themed, isn't it? Yeah, down there. Yeah, something going in there because not having an attraction doesn't help capacity. I would have just opened up um, and, and kept it going for Sidons, to be honest. I know, like, we miss it so much. It was a really nice experience ride and it was original as well. But uh, look at this, crowd levels have been really low. Uh, it's a good job. I mean, we've had quite a bit of downtime actually today. I mean, the halt went down again. There's been a few bits off camera, which is surprising. You don't often see it at this part, do no, you? No, you don't. So I'm not too sure what's going on. It's always great getting back in the wisdom world of Harry Potter oh. though. Forbidden Journey is amazing. Hagrid, uh, the fact we only waited 35 for that as well is amazing. Crowd levels are brilliant. Weather's been good and just overall been another fantastic day here at Universal Orlando Resort. Of course, make sure you check out our various other vlogs from Universal and uh, yeah, we thank you very much for joining us here on Theme Park Worldwide. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next vlog.